Hello, Dumbarton friends. It's Reverend Rachel here with another midweek meditation. I wanted to share with you a conversation that we had during worship cluster last week. We were talking about making plans to come back to church in person and how to maintain an online presence so that people who are unable to join us in person can still participate in the life of the community. And we were talking about all the logistics and all of the complications related to this COVID situation that we're living through right now. And I just said to the worship committee in a moment of honesty, I hate all of this. I hate being apart from people. I hate worrying about people being sick. I hate how we have to do church online and we can't hug one another. We can't see family. I hate all of it. The anxiety, the loneliness, the disconnection. I am grateful for things like these videos and for Zoom where we can be together even when we're not physically in the same place, but I am tired. And I saw an article in the paper yesterday that talked about hitting a pandemic wall. It said that anxiety and mental illness and depression is way up because people are just tired and that we feel like this should have been over by now and it's not. So it made me think that for this midweek meditation, I wanted to share with you a little bit, uh, something that I wrote a long time ago, uh, almost 13 years ago, about lamentations and the Psalms of lament. Our Bible has within it words of lament, which are prayers to God about our fear, about our anxiety, about our exhaustion. And it's a way of us being really honest with God. And that's one of the most beautiful things about prayer is that we can bring all of ourselves to God. We can be completely honest with God about where we are. We can confess our sins, our fears, our frustrations, and God is listening. And in fact, God knows all of these things even before we say them. We can go to God because we know that God is listening, that God receives all that we bring when we come to God in prayer, and that in God's time, in God's wisdom and mercy, God will respond. This is Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for God. My soul waits. And in God's word, I hope, my soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with God there is steadfast love, and with God great power to redeem. It is God who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. We have words of scripture that help give words to our feelings when we don't even know what to say. When we have sighs so deep and tears that won't stop. We can turn to these words of scripture or we can just open our hearts up to God. And sometimes we do that collectively and sometimes we do that one-on-one -on -one with God. I just want to assure you, friends, that if you're struggling in this moment, 
if you feel lonely or sad or lost, frustrated, afraid, that God is listening. You can bring all of this to God. You don't need to carry it alone. I encourage you in this time to deepen your prayer life. There is so much that is out of our control, but we know that we have a God who is in this with us, who waits for us, who listens to us, who loves us, in whom we have hope and faith. I hope this is a word of comfort to you. And I am praying for you. Be well.